Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. This is fan mail number 12. It's been a while. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Some of these things have been at the post office before Ida. The post office wasn't open for the longest after Ida, and then when it did open, it was only half open. You couldn't get packages because only half the building had power, so they were just doing normal mail stuff, putting it in people's mailboxes out and about, but not in their boxes in the post office. But finally, they got everything fixed and it's back to normal. First packages from Barney in Texas. I was just texting with him earlier today. Finally got out there and was surprised to see the mail office fully functional today. So let's give this an open and see what Barney sent us. the first thing some suffix line 65 pound got us some braid thanks Barney 60 pound 65 pound braid that's pretty cool appreciate that just a bunch of bubble wrap in case we get frustrated about something else oh a little thing try to get away yeah if I get frustrated later I could just pop this bubble wrap because there's still frustration about left over from the storm Got us a nice reel here. Thanks, man. This is a pin. I think he told me about this reel. And here's the handle. So yeah, you're right. Let's get rid of the frustration wrap right there. So I think the idea is I put this 65 pound braid on this pin reel. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, man. That is cool. I have just the rod waiting for something like this too. Yeah, you're right. Awesome. I really appreciate that, Barney. I know we've been waiting for a while to be able to open this package, but there are more. There was a mountain there. I'm not quite sure who this package is from. I can tell you that it's coming from California. K something is the name. KG Nick. KG Nick. Thanks, KG Nick. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll be able to see who it's from when I open the box. I don't know if I'm gonna get to do any fishing this week. I, I did get to go out a little bit, but right now we have a lot of moisture out there from Tropical Storm. Nicholas, it's raining, can you hear it? There's a lot of, a lot of rain, probably for a few days. Got us a letter here. M Hood, how's it going, my friend? I was watching your show the other day where you had a hard time seeing your popping corks you were using for slip bobbers, and I figured I would send you some that I had made. Oh, cool, these are homemade. Let's, we'll check them out here in a sec. Hopefully you can get some good use out of them. If you do, no, I'm sorry. If you do a mention, would you? My dyslexia is bothering me right now. Give me a, a second. If you do mention, would you? Oh God. If you do a mention, would be cool if you wanted. Thanks and thanks, man, and enjoy. Yeah, you're right, Keith. There you go. Thanks, Keith. Let's check these out. Yeah, high visibility, homemade slip corks. We got a few different sizes in here. Looks like uh, pool noodles and see the cork. Got that safety tape up there. Heavy duty, a bunch of different sizes here. Different colors. We'll have to give these a go. Look at that. Those are pretty cool looking. I actually like those. Those look quite practical. Practical. Yeah, you're right. These would be good too. All right. There is more. Look at this. Oh yeah, I feel so good now. These three boxes right here, I believe are coming from 
a subscriber by the name of Fred. They're all from the same place. Fred emailed me and told me about this, but they're, these are from Amazon. It's nothing I ordered. I have ordered stuff that's not here yet because of the hurricane is still stuck in transit. It's another box, box in a box. These are really, oh, yeah, you're right. Got a few left. All right. food we got chili cheese flavored corn chips I actually like these I wonder if he realized that I used to be I used to have a problem a really bad problem I was addicted to these I was eating them all the time I, I feel like I'm gonna have a problem again let's see how bad the, the problem is gonna be this time for me. <laughs> Let's open this one. I'm not gonna pop them this time because I wanna hold on to them in case I get even more frustrated. There's things aren't back to normal yet. But you know, time time will tell. What do you think's in here? Think it's another flavor? Be, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have such a problem. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to eat them all at once. You know, I'm just kidding. I never had a real bad problem. I did buy these a lot. The chili cheese corn chips. I would go into a place called Hank's and come out with a couple pieces of chicken and a big bag of these almost every day. The fried chicken, chili cheese, corn chip addiction thing was going on there. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Fred. There's a lot of, a lot of chili cheese corn chips. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, that is... <laughs> oh, that's the craziest thing I've ever had someone send me. This random... A random thing. <laughs> I'm pretty moved. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm covered in chili cheese corn chips. Yeah, you're right, guys. This was a fun one. I had to wait a while to do it. <laughs> and you know, I almost walked out of there without these because when I, I went in there, there were only two notices in my box, but I had a feeling there were more things. And I, I asked the lady, I said, could you check? Because I think I have a, a mountain of stuff. And yeah, these, these three boxes were just sitting back there and she found them for me. Maybe there's more stuff, but she looked pretty good. You gotta understand that things are still a little messy around here. It's slowly getting back to normal, but still a little messy. Yeah, you're right, guys. Hopefully this uh, rain will clear out of here, but it looks like it's gonna take a few days. <sighs> but yeah, once it does, things will be cool. I'm gonna go binge watch some uh, Vera and eat a bunch of these. Yeah, you're right. All right, guys, thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Wow.